Sony, tonight our in-depth coverage of last night's severe storms continues. From Providence to Cranston, residents are cleaning up. Trees and power lines were toppled and homes and businesses were left badly damaged. One of those places, the Cranston Senior Center, a place where many come to stay cool on hot days. Eyewitness News reporter Naked Wosu is live with a closer look at the damage and the efforts to clean up. Blair and Mike, it's quite the scene here as crews try to chop down this tree that was uprooted. It was a similar scene at the Cranston Senior Center today where the interim director says she was expecting 300 to 400 people to be there today. Instead, crews spent the day fixing the roof and cleaning up. Thursday morning, storms tore through Cranston, uprooting trees in some spots, including the senior center. Crews were just working on the building's roof hours before the storm hit. It was so strong that it blew the equipment off the roof that the men were using, and it opened up a, a, a gaping hole, so there were about, it was about three inches of water, and all the ceiling tiles, as you can say, see, had failed. It's not safe for anyone to be in here right now. Hundreds of seniors use the center every day, but Thursday it was closed due to storm damage. Just around the corner, the Gladstone Street School was also closed because of downed trees in nearby streets and on the school's parking lot. We had our crews out early doing what we can to clear a lot of the debris off the roadways, but unfortunately, Cranston got uh, hit pretty hard in this Arlington section, as you can see behind us at the senior center. The mayor is encouraging people without electricity to go to places like the library to keep cool, while the senior center, already in the middle of renovations, continues to clean up. And it's a shame because we are just invested in all new energy efficient uh, balances, I think they call them, lighting. So now it's a bigger job than we ever expected. Now back live here where crews continue to remove branches up this tree from this home here in Providence. As for the Cranston Senior Center, the interim director says she won't know for sure until tomorrow morning whether or not the center will be open on Friday. Of course, we will keep you posted. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News.